Thank you. And now, um, for this edition of the Sustainable Scoop, I am here with Jeffrey Jacobs and Dennis Deneen, both members of the EV or Electric Vehicle Association of Washington, D.C., but residents of Virginia. Yes. Thanks are, for yeah. being with me, gentlemen. Glad to be here. Now, um, we'll, we'll start with you, Dennis, since you live here in Arlington. What kind of car do you drive? Chevy Volt. You drive a Volt. I do. Well, for tell the me last a two years. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the Volt. I guess one of the things I really like, I have so far driven 23,000 miles on the car, wow. and I have burned 67 gallons of gasoline. Wow, that, that's certainly something to be proud of. Uh, well, it's uh, most of the time I'm running electricity rather than gasoline, and um, I like that for multiple reasons, not the least of which it's much cheaper. <laughs> electricity is probably about one quarter to one fifth the cost of gasoline for the same miles. Um, I can charge it overnight, which I do every night, like a cell phone. In the morning, I have 40 miles of electric power. If I go beyond the 40 miles, a gasoline engine kicks in, and I can keep going forever, or as long as the gasoline. So that's a that's a hybrid vehicle that you have. The Chevy Volt is a hybrid, and Jeffrey, you have uh, the Nissan Leaf. Exactly. Thank so you. tell tell me about the Leaf. Well, Miriam, the Leaf is a an electric car that gets anywhere between 70 to 100 miles, and the newer Leaf actually does get much closer to 100 miles. My Leaf is actually a 2012, and I've had that car since November of 2011. Uh, I've driven, since that time, about 33,000 miles. That is amazing. Oh. And you commute every day from Herndon to Washington, D.C. Exactly. 70, 60 to 70 miles a day. Uh, For round pennies? trip. For pennies, in <laughs> fact, I estimate that I drive about 1,500 miles a month and only pay less than $25. Wow, that is fantastic. So we'll, we'll put the environmental concerns aside for a moment and just think about um, in dollars and cents. We understand these vehicles tend to cost a little bit more. Are you feeling like you're making your money back on the investment? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I used to spend for the same commute uh, about $2,500 a year in gasoline. Whereas $25 a month times 12 months, that's barely uh, a couple hundred, I mean. So no energy crisis at your house. Exactly. Now, now, Dennis, one of the concerns that people have, in addition to the initial cost, is the maintenance and upkeep of an electric vehicle. What have you experienced? <laughs> well, in two years, all I've done is rotate the tires. Really? Remember, an electric vehicle is inherently a much simpler machine, mechanically than a uh, gasoline engine. Gasoline engine has to have hundreds of parts moving up and down or back and forth and belts and pumps and all these things have to work all the time. An electric motor essentially has one moving part. And so mechanically they're much simpler and much less likely to wear out. And for another thing that's very nice about them, when you put on the brakes, unlike an ordinary car, all you do is produce heat. In other words, calipers close against rotors and you produce heat also the brakes wear out. With an electric car, you essentially, unless you're in a panic stop, you don't use the brakes at all. You just use, when you put the brakes on, you slow down from the power of a generator. So anyway, the point is, in the life of the car, I'll probably never have to have any brake work done. Wow, and, and in terms of reliability, you've, you know, you, you go 40 miles and then yeah. you need to charge. So no, what do you... No, no oh, I don't ahead. need to charge. I go 40 miles and then if I'm going beyond that, the gasoline engine kicks in and okay. I continue to go. I've driven that car to Charleston, South Carolina. There's no limit to its distance. It's just I only can go 40 miles a day on electric power. Uh, okay. And so then beyond that, it goes. it's just like any other hybrid. It runs on gasoline. To make it clear, I don't have to charge it. I can run it on gasoline only. But that would be... That would Why be would I buy expensive gasoline when I can get very cheap electricity? And I get it from my house. And, and let me just go back to the yeah. gasoline part. Um, uh, my understanding, though, is that your car gets great uh, mileage anyway with yes. gas. What is the gas mileage? It gets that? about 40 to 42 miles. Which is way better than yeah, the average. Yeah, uh, per gallon. It's, it is a very efficient car even when it's on gasoline. Okay, and you started to touch on something about the time it takes to charge. So tell me about the charging capacity of... Well, it, like Jeffrey, I charge it overnight. So it doesn't matter that it... I could charge it at a faster rate, but I only use a standard 110 volt outlet. It's roughly like 
it's drawing about the same power as a hair dryer. And I plug it in overnight like a cell phone. And it only takes a few seconds to plug it in. And in the morning, I unplug it and I have 40 miles of electric power. I start every single day with 40 miles of electric power. What if you need a faster charge? What if you're out I can, well, coming from? For instance, with my car, uh, I need 70, 50, 60 to 70 miles, so I do need the faster charge. And so for my car, it charges from more or less empty to full in about five to six hours. But I set that to go overnight, and I have a time of use rate, which charges higher electricity rates during the day, but much cheaper electricity rates during the evening, so I have my car programmed to only charge in the dead of night when electricity is very cheap. I see. And, and, and I think, admittedly, we all know that there, the infrastructure for charging on the go, you know, we had talked about, like, along the eastern seaboard or driving across country, um, there are some ways to find access to plugging in. In fact, you mentioned a website, and we'll put it up on the screen um, soon, but that's called PlugShare. So for individuals who do have plug-in cars now, or if they're concerned about traveling, there are some resources out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, and now this organization that you're a part of is basically um, electric car enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. And so you've got uh, an upcoming event, September 29th, in Washington, D.C., right. on 3rd Street. So I want everybody to take the opportunity to go in to plugindayorg And if you have questions, please go to evadc.org. If you'd like to reach uh, Dennis, you can go to virginiavolt at yahoo.com. And Jeffrey's website is aecn.timehorse.com. Gentlemen, thanks for dispelling some of the rumors. And I appreciate you watching the Sustainable Scoop. We'll see you next time back at the news desk. All right, thanks, Miriam. Yeah. Talking about those electric cars. They're Seeing great. more and more of them out there. Yeah. Get yours yet? Next week. Next, Next week. week, all right. Yeah. Plug it in and go. A Prius, right? Okay, okay thanks, guy. Miriam. Anything else to add before we go? Sure, yeah. We're running out of time, so thanks for watching this yeah. edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Next week, you join us from out there. We'll be back here, and we'll do it all again. Have a safe week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.